sir. Say something. Yeah, I read in the, uh, the media guy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I knew he was a former coach. I didn't know he was. Saturday for college football. Let's start out in Maryville as the two and three Northwest Missouri State Bearcats hosted Central Oklahoma this afternoon. Bearcats trying to get back to 500 on the season. Beautiful day for football in Maryville. On the Bearcats' very first drive, they hand it off to the sophomore running back Jay Harris, stiff arming defenders, barreling over others for a 15 yard touchdown. And his day was just beginning. Seven to nothing Northwest. Central Oklahoma head coach and former Bearcat player and head coach Adam Durrell not happy about that in his homecoming today. But his Broncos would soon answer. Travon Wolfork, second leading rusher in the MIAA behind Jay Harris, scores a one-yard touchdown to tie it at seven. Bearcats go right back to Jay Harris on their next drive. Wildcat formation. He scampers down the sideline, outracing everybody. 64-yard touchdown run and a 14-7 Northwest lead. Rich Wright says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's feed the kid again. Next Bearcats drive, Jay Harris says, man, I'm too big, too strong, and too fast. A 45-yard touchdown, three rushing scores in the first half for Harris. 20-7 Bearcats. Bobby the Bearcat out here supporting the troops for Military Appreciation Day at the stadium. Third quarter we go now. Northwest passing action. Finally, Mike Cohensey finds John Giajari. Rocked, but holds on for the 17-yard score. 27 to 14 Bearcats at that point. Student section wanting to see more. Fourth quarter, Bearcats handed off to guess who? His name is Jay Harris, making defenders look silly. Unstoppable today. 44 yards score to seal it. 22 carries, 274 yards rushing, and four touchdowns for Harris. Fifth highest rushing total in a game for the Northwest Bearcats in history for the school. Bearcats with 34 to 21 to get back to 500. It feels good to come out here and have a career game. To start off with, um, my old line did an amazing job every time I got the ball. Even when I didn't pick up a game, I felt that was on me. So just give credit to all my old line and my coaches for just going out here and just playing hard for me. Big game next week for Northwest. They have the rivalry next week against Missouri Western. And speaking of Missouri Western, the Griffins played at Washburn this afternoon in Topeka, Kansas. We'll start off early in the first quarter. The Ichabod strike first on a four-yard run. Taylor Peters gets Washburn on the board. Seven to nothing with the PAT. Griffin's answer with an eight-yard score. Jared Scott right up the middle. He finished with three touchdowns on the day. Seven all now. Later in the first, Griffin's special team's going to work blocking the punt. Lamont Washington returns at 38 yards for a touchdown. 14 to 7 Griffins and tied at 14 after one, but after that, Western would score 47 straight points. Missouri Western runs away with this one, 61 to 21, to improve to 5 and 1 on the season to set up that big rivalry game with Northwest next week. Let's go to the other college scorers around the area. Number 21, Missouri fought hard but lost a second half lead to LSU at home and fell 49 to 39 for their first loss of the season. Kansas was all over Central Florida, 51 to 22 in Lawrence. The Jayhawks, they are five and one on the season. Derek Quinlan back from injury as the number three in Class 3, Maryville, taking on the number one team in Class 4, Lutheran North. Let's switch to that one for some high school football action. First drive of the Jonathan Moore going deep, but it's picked off by Boston Hageman. 
Eggman there. Great play by him. A few plays later, Quinlan looking deep to Delton Davis. He outruns everybody. Touchdown spoof hounds up seven to nothing in the first quarter. A great day for the Hounds defense. Lutheran North in the red zone. Moore fumbles, and the spoof hounds would fall on it. Big time recovery. They would lead seven to nothing at the break. Third quarter, we go now. Crusaders offense goes to work. Mike Clark takes the direct snap around the edge. Blockers do the job. Touchdown, Crusaders. It's seven to six. Maryville still up though. Later in the third quarter, Quinlan looking to his right. Just a great job by Michael Harris. Jumps the route, and that's a pick six for Lutheran. 14 to seven, Lutheran North going into the fourth quarter. But here comes Derek Quinlan and the Spoof Hounds. 14 to 13 after one. Quinlan score. Check out this. Time winding down. Evades defender. Scrambles. Cole Zambano, who gets way up and snags that ball out of the sky. Then, under a minute to play. Hounds down one. Inside the five-yard line. Quinlan on the keeper. Right up the middle. Touchdown, Maryville. The Spoof Hounds upset Lutheran North. 19 to 14. Quinlan with a touchdown pass. And two scores on the ground today. I see a quarterback that you know led our team in, in the crucial times at the end, and then went and won that football game. Um, that was a great effort, great effort by uh, our team. You know that's that was the message. You know, in life, there's a lot of great individuals, but when you can have each other's back and, and out execute as a team, um, that was a total team win. Big time win for the Spoof Hounds. They take on Savannah next week in a huge rivalry game. We'll have a lot of coverage in that for the week coming. But for now, that's a look at sports. We'll be right back. At the Comfort Center, we have everything you need to keep you warm this winter. Come see our new showroom full of hot springs portable spas. Rel 